beholding is very different than taking a look at something. When you first look at a beetle or first look at a flower um, and you do it as a child, you can look very, very closely and for very, very long periods of time. I think that science has become so unique and so powerful that it's a threat. Haunted is an easy word. So as Christians, we're trying to figure out what does it mean to be faithful given the reality that we find ourselves in today. We have Stone Age emotions, medieval institutions, and godlike technology. And all put together is a very dangerous mix. Are they American? What are Americans? They are the most religious people of an industrialized country in the world. There is a very strong ethical fiber that runs through science and the scientific community that says you report only what really is there. Now, where did we get that core? That's a good question. I think uh, it has a lot to do with our religion and our religious capital from previous generations. If we harness um, this knowledge, this, this conviction that we ought to have, we can be a very powerful force. So very important that we strive to have better self-understanding as a species of who we are and where we want to go. And we can't do that without a dialogue between science and religion, the two most powerful forces in the world. 